everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a simple and wearable Valentine's makeup look. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette because a lot of you requested that I use this palette for a wearable Valentine's Day look. Valentine's Day is not my favorite holiday as I feel most people feel about this holiday, but I do like creating looks for the different holidays that come up. And I really like how this look turned out. It was super easy to do. It is a full face of makeup but you can change it to however you want you don't have to wear foundation you don't have to wear the winged eyeliner or the lashes like you can do whatever you want with this look but I just did a full face because I know that if I were to go out on a date on Valentine's Day I would want like a full face of makeup on maybe that's just me I don't know but anyways let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so starting with a clean face I'm gonna start with my brows today I'm using the hourglass brow pencil and this is in the shade platinum blonde I have really been loving these hourglass brow pencils um, especially the platinum blonde one it is like the perfect taupe shade for me doesn't have any warmth to it thank the lord but yeah I've just been using it using it like crazy Then we're going to carve out our brows today. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Beige. And I'm just using this Luxie Flat Concealer Brush. Then we're gonna start on the eyes. I'm using that same concealer to prime my eyelids. I always use the Tarte Shape Tape to prime my eyelids just because it's a really matte concealer and it just gets the job done, you know? So I'm taking the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. And starting with the shade Tempera, I'm just going to take this flat, iconic London brush and set my eyelids with that. After curling my lashes, I'm taking the shade Warm Taupe and we're going to use the LA Girl 202 Big Fluffy Concealer Brush. Concealer brush? What? Crease brush. And this is going to be our transition shade. We're really only using three shades for this eyeshadow look. Then with the shade Venetian Red and this like angled fluffy shader brush from Luxie, I'm just going to put that on my, the outer half of my eyelid and then I'm taking that LA Girl crease brush and blending everything together. I just wanted a subtle pop of like reddish pinkish. I didn't want it to be too red. Then taking the color Vermeer, I'm just going to be putting that on my lids and also my brow bone and my inner corner. Then with the Stila Coal Eyeliner in Intense Black, I'm just going to tight line my eyes. I'm not waterlining them because I'm using a light pink color for the waterline. Then I'm going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I'm just creating a small winged eyeliner. Then coating my lashes with some mascara. I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and then putting on some falsies. These are the iconic London lashes. I will put the style of them below because I can't remember. And then priming my face, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And this is the darker one called Opal. I probably should have used the other one, but I just wasn't really thinking. And then using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation, and this is in the shade Snow. I'm just going to be buffing this in with a damp beauty blender. I believe that is the Tarte Beauty Blender that I'm using right now. And then just covering up my dark circles and highlighting the rest of my face with that concealer that I used before. And 
then to bake and set, I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just really packing that on underneath my eyes, on the corners of my nose and my smile lines. And then taking this big fluffy face brush from Luxie, I'm just going to set everything else, getting it ready for like bronzer and blush and stuff. Then to bronze up my face, I'm using that same Luxie brush and the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. You guys know this is my favorite bronzer of all time. It just really looks good no matter what I do. And then taking the Physicians Formula Butter Blush, and this is in the shade Vintage Rouge. And I'm also taking this stipple brush from LA Girl and applying that to my apples and my cheeks. Then for highlight, I'm taking this Tarte Highlighting Palette and taking the lightest shade in the palette and highlighting the high points in my face, you know, the usual. I can't not wear highlighter when I'm wearing makeup. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm taking this mini crease brush from Violet Voss and warm taupe from that palette and just smudging that on my lower lash line. And then coating my lashes with some of that mascara. And then to waterline, I'm taking the Stila um, Smudge Coal Eyeliner and this is in the shade Nude, this stuff. Is no joke it is so pigmented and really really waterproof I love it and I feel like it just adds that much more to the look then to finish off the look I'm taking the ultra glossy lip by Kathleen lights and Colourpop, and this is in the shade Moonchild. okay guys that is it for this look thank you so much for watching I hope those of you who do celebrate Valentine's Day have a happy holiday and those of you who don't celebrate Valentine's Day have a great February single. Yes. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.